Let's talk gloves. I've done a couple videos on the outdoor research gloves that I've used and I recently just picked up several more for cold weather. It's Michigan and it's winter so it's you know it gets cold out. I hate having cold hands. I got two different gloves to show you. The first glove I show you is the cold shot glove. It's from their military tactical line of gloves. These the temperature rating on these says 20 to 45 Fahrenheit. And I picked these up, um, not necessarily because I'm worried about only using them when, they're, when it's that temperature, even when it gets a bit colder. They're windproof, they are water resistant, they have a leather palm. Make sure you can see this, okay. They have a leather palm. And the back is fleece, and then there's a closure. These have the loops that I'm very fond of to pull them on and off. The only thing I don't like about these gloves is I wear a large in all of my outdoor research gloves, and the fit on these is a little bit too snug. One of the things that is irritating with them is I can't stretch my web of my um, between my thumb and finger. I can't stretch that out all the way, and I feel limited in that it's pull, it's pulling, and I can't fully uh, extend that. The other problem with them being snug is it's got to be reducing blood flow a bit. So, regardless of how well insulated these are, if there's not if they're not loose enough to allow for good blood exchange, then warm oxygenated blood isn't getting into my hands as easily, so my hands aren't going to feel as warm. I'm a little bit disappointed. I like how they feel. Uh, other than them being snug. I like the dexterity that they offer and I think these would be good for weapons manipulation. That's one of the things that they're um, marketed as. So this is from their their um, tactical, military tactical. Here's the cold shot. Back, nothing special on that. Okay. So with that being said, I think I'm going to end up sending these back. I don't know why the large in these don't fit well. I don't know why they're, why they're too tight and too snug. Like I said, I got like four other pair of OR large gloves and whatever. I don't know if it's just this particular pair or if it's this glove style. Anyway, so next I have the Northback sensor gloves. I opted for these because I also ski and I wanted something that I could use for skiing, but also use if I was outside for an extended period of time. The temperature range on this is minus 15 to 15 degrees. They're waterproof, they're breathable, they're insulated, they have wicking uh, technology, and also they're touch sensitive in the finger and the um, thumb. So these gloves are, I don't know if you can see that, they're extra large. They're extra large, but these are unisex gloves, so they fit just a little bit differently. There. Sorry, working on the focus here. So <clears throat> this is more like a traditional skiing type glove. The fit on them for me is very, very good. Um, there's a couple features that I like about these and why I decided to go with them. Number one, you can cinch it down. So when you stuff your coat in here, you got this cinched down and then you can also pull the draw cord right here to cinch that down to keep cold air, snow, and everything else out. There, You have enough dexterity in here that I can do weapons manipulation and I can draw and fire my pistol with them. It's This is not their intended purpose. And if I knew I was going to get in a gunfight, I wouldn't wear these. These wouldn't be my gloves of choice. However, if I'm going to be outside for an extended period of time, directing traffic or, I don't know, whatever glamorous other shit that I get to do um, to keep my hands nice and toasty. They're Gore-Tex, so my hands are going to stay dry. Um, the wind's going to stay off of them. Granted, they're not, like, all tactical, blacked out, murdered out like these are. You know, obviously the outdoor research is, and they got the blue thread. 
I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. So to prove my point about weapons manipulation, I'm able to draw uh, my pistol. I can eject the magazine. I can lock the slide to the rear with it. I can release the slide. Also, my finger does fit inside the trigger guard and I do have tactile feel over the trigger. So I can feel them at the wall and hear the shot break, or feel the shot break. And I, I can hear and feel the reset, obviously. But like I said, it's it's kind of a, let me switch balls, switch hands real quick. Like I said, it's not the purpose of this. If I knew I was gonna get in a gunfight, these wouldn't be the gloves. I would wear, I wouldn't put these gloves on and go train at the range for hours. So, your finger does fit in there, it's just a snug fit. And then I, you still have enough tactile feel. I like these quite a bit. Um, this is just the first look at them, and there'll be more later. But I am able to stretch and extend my thumb all the way, my web, so that's not an issue. Good dexterity, they feel really good. My old ski gloves, they had a removable liner, and every time you pulled your hands out, the the fleece would come um, out as well, and you'd have to finger fuck your fingers back in there, and it, it was it's just a mess. So I'm really looking forward to using these for skiing. Also, like I said, they have the touch fingers technology and the forefinger and thumb so I can use my smartphone not that you know I can type with these because you know I got I went from having you know hot dog fingers to Vienna sausage fingers but I can interact with my phone hit the next track whatever so anyway that's first look I'll wear them and let you know what I think